Hello everybody, I'm Waska, and I have a special request from one of my daughters to do this video in this voice. Oh yeah! Two years ago I uploaded a video entitled How Lars Anderson Could Become Better at Archery. In this video I basically talk about the difference between shooting an arrow at a target and a human being. If you're interested there's a link somewhere, have a look. Now a couple of weeks ago Mr. Dover commented on that video, so I just saw that yesterday Ben. And it's a really good comment, I like it, so I'd like to discuss it here. I'm too lazy to write anyway. So, Mr. Dover, I'm going to call you Ben. If he is so weak, this is referring to Lars Anderson, if he is so weak, then how does he shoot 11 arrows in the air before one hits the ground? And how does he shoot so far away, as shown in a lot of the clips? And how does he split arrows in half? Ooh. Now to start off, I'd like to point out, I'm pretty sure at no point have I claimed Lars Anderson is weak. I'd agree straight away that he's not a strong person, but I've never said that he is weak. And strength has very little to do with how does he get 11 arrows into the air before the first one hits the ground. Now most people, when shooting at a target, hold their arm like this, depending on how far the target is away, might go up a bit. Watch his video, it's really worth seeing actually on Lars's channel, I think it's entitled World Record in 11 Arrows in the Air at Once. Oh yeah! Now he has his arm up here, quite a different angle. And you will note for the first arrow he draws all the way. Then for the second, not quite so far. With each arrow he draws less and less. Why? To save time. The first arrow has to go the furthest, that's why he draws all the way. He is using a not too strong bow, this is where strength might come in, and this probably isn't too relevant, you see. If you're shooting in a high arc with an arrow like that, if a stronger bow would have a higher arc and also the arrow would go further, but travel faster. So, I don't think it really makes much of a difference. Answering your question, how does he get 11 arrows into the air at once? Well, not at once, but before the first one hits the ground. By using a very high arc and also saving time at the end. As I said, this really has nothing to do with strength. Now, the second question, uh, how does he shoot so far as shown in a lot of the clips? Well, by drawing all the way. I have the bone in a quite few of my videos, I think two, possibly even three, that he doesn't draw all the way. Last claims this is a historical method and refers to paintings of Europe, the 10th and 11th century, I think. This is an artistic style. You might have seen some Egyptian paintings where someone is shooting, drawn all the way back here, yeah, but has the string behind their head. No one comes onto the eye and say, wow, this is how Egyptians used to shoot. It's simply, the artist thought, I don't want the string across his face, I'll put it behind his head. The Egyptians did not draw all the way back, stick their head through, and then release. They weren't that stupid, you know? So, he does actually draw out all the way to get his arrows further, because it's necessary. If you don't draw properly, you don't have any power behind the arrows, and they don't go very far. So if he wants to hit something further away, he does actually draw all the way, or most of the way at least. I do believe in that clip where I'm talking about him shooting two guys on the other side of a table, I do point out, here, last draws all the way. So, to get his arrows further, he actually has to draw and he does it. The third question, and how does he split arrows in half? Well he does, yeah! At no point does Lars Anderson split an arrow in half. There are two things. We see him shooting at a knife, which is just in the ground, and we also see when two arrows collide, someone's shooting at him, right? And he shoots that arrow, and by chance they actually filmed, he said this himself at some point, it was pure chance that he split the arrow in that case. Now I'll start with the easiest one. If you've got two arrows flying towards you with metal tips, do you seriously think you can split the arrow? The arrow coming towards him is not coming towards him. That's the first secret. So if the arrow's flying like this and he hits it here, then he can split it. He doesn't split it exactly in half, he splits it somewhere. 
But if the arrow were actually coming towards him, his arrow would be flying straight towards that one, the tips would hit, but neither arrow would be split by the other one. As for that knife in the ground, go out, spend one or two bucks, whatever your currency is, on a metal arrow tip. Put it on the table, take your kitchen knife, and see if you can split it. You cannot split an iron tip with a metal knife. You don't know how strong the bow is. So he's apparently shooting arrows that don't have tips. Once again, I do believe it is not the arrow being split clean in half, but it sort of gets a piece chopped off the side, which is not the same. And you've got to ask yourself, what is the point of shooting an arrow that hasn't got a tip on it? Sorry, I totally forgot Mario also commented. Mario Zolano. How he penetrate the basketball. Next comment. Also, you use a round point. Do a video using a hunt arrow and I give you the credit. Yeah. Well, first of all, I do not recall seeing Lars Anderson shooting at any basketball, so I can't answer that question, except for to speculate that he was actually pulling all the way. And as for you giving me credit, not quite sure why you think I'd want your credit. I use a round point, that's Leia shooting at me, use a round point, and you asked me to do a video in which I use a hunting point. I already stated in that video we're not doing that. And if you would have looked, later on, I'm on all four, mostly naked, and she drops something on my back, which has got a sharp point. It's not really a hunting arrow, but it definitely would do the job. And it doesn't even scratch me. Watch the video again, Mario.